Hello, people. Good, good, good afternoon. I was trying to make it here before 12.05 here in Colorado, but I was hoping I was going to do it before, before noon. But here I am anyway, and I'm glad to be here today. Uh, wow, I got my beret on again, my green one. I told you in the winter and the fall, I love my berets and things like that. So uh, I'm glad to be back here today, people, because it's just a serious time we're living in. And uh, I was outside this morning as my husband went to work. I, I was noticing the trees in my yard, and oh my God, look at the nice, beautiful fall leaves, and it's just awesome, isn't that? That one just perfect, 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 perfect. So I thought I would sh bring a few in and show you. You know, this is the fall of the year, and I, I just love the fall of the year here in Colorado. But this is the perfect like maple, maple. Uh, tree leaf it's perfect isn't it perfect perfect so anyway um <clears throat> i'm just happy to be here like i said and i have a lot of things to get through here today so i'm gonna just go here for my time go up i'm so sorry yesterday when i made my video i uh called prophet brian con prophetess i am so sorry for that Brian, I, I just slipped, it slipped out so fast. I just didn't even pay no attention to what I was saying. Sometimes when the spirit's on me, I just keep ro racing along. So uh, forgive me for that. Um, you are a prophet of God, not a prophetess. So I do know that for a fact. So I just had to make that uh, statement. And um, this is the, uh, they having now unknown objects to hit the earth Friday the 13th. And I know that BP Earth Watch been talking a lot about the things going on with NASA and the dis un unidentified object I posted on one of my other videos uh, last week. And um, I will post that link below. We have an ice floods in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I got that posting from Beast Watch News. Wow, and, and you have the video on there. You can see the little short video. It's just crazy. It's just like ice just coming down and the whole river just flowing with ice you know, an ice flood in saudi arabia we having fireballs over oklahoma and poland as paul begley is reporting on and pastor d is talking on the subject i talked about yesterday halloween again he talking about uh when the white house had all this halloween thing going on um Pope Francis and Obama and the whole work. So I will post that link below. And Hummingbird, my Colorado neighbor, she's back and she's got a little, a whole hour worth of uh, updates, news updates. So I will post that as well. I like Hummingbird a lot. I respect the lady a lot. And I, uh, we have like neighbors here in Colorado. So, um, I don't know too many other women watchmen. I, I do know another women, a woman watchman in Colorado also. I do know another one. But it's good to have these watchmen here. Women watchmen in Colorado. Um, and so I'm going to go uh, to, uh, before I get to this other stuff I want to talk about, I'm going to go to Ellen White again. With all these things happening, people, with nature, you know, nature, nature, nature. God is going to use nature to warn the people, to alarm the people, to awaken the people. Nature, floods, earthquake, fire, nuclear, whatever. Nuclear is not really part of nature to me, but I mean nature like earthquakes and volcanoes and things calling, falling from the sky, meteors, uh, um, you know, you name it, all the nature, he's going to be using nature. So I'm going to read from Ellen White again, from Maranatha, the Lord is coming, where she talks about God overthrow, God overturns nature. And so it's really important to know God will be using nature to do a lot of his uh, awakening for the people, to try to wake them up, shake them up. And, uh, and uh, allergies are bad here this time of year, too. But anyway, um, page 280, God overturns nature. And the seventh angel pulled out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. 
and there was voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake, and so great. Revelation 16, 17, 18. We need to study the pouring out of the seventh vow, she says. The powers of evil will not yield up the conflict without a struggle. In the midst of the angry heavens is one clear space of independent, indescribable glory. Whence comes the voice of God, like the sound of many waters, saying it is done. Revelation 16, 17. I'm going to pause there a minute. When I had the vision back at 29 years old, and I heard God's voice speak to me for the first time audibly, I'm, a t it's t I'm telling you, it was like that. It was just like, uh, it was just like, thunder and waters mixed together sound like many waters i mean it was like oh it was just something else i i can't describe it even in pen and exactly i know what she mean because i heard his voice and it was like roaring war waters speaking so anyway i go i continue here that voice shakes the heavens and the earth there is a mighty earthquake such as was not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great, verses 17, 18. The firmament appears to open and shut. The glory from the throne of God seems flashing through. The mountains shake like a reed in the wind, and ragged rocks are scattered on every side. There is a roar as of a coming tempest. The sea is lashed into fury. There is heard the shriek of a hurricane, like the voice of demons upon a mission of destruction. The whole earth heals, heaves, I mean, heals. The whole earth heaves and swells like the waves of the sea. And its surface is breaking up. Its very foundations seem to be given away. Mountain chains are sinking. Inhabited islands disappear. The seaports that have become like Sodom for wickedness are swallowed up by the angry waters. Babylon the Great has come in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Wow. Great hailstones, everyone about the weight of a talent, are doing their work of destruction. Verses 19-21. The proudest cities of the earth are laid low. The Lord, lordly palaces upon which the world's great men have lavished their wealth in order to glorify themselves are crumbling to ruin before their eyes. Prison walls are rent asunder and God's people who have been held in bondage for their faith are set free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I was looking at a movie this weekend on TBN about Peter and Paul, and I know when, when God shook the earthquake and released him out of prison. And, you know, these times are coming back, people. God is alive. He is alive. He is awake. He is not sleeping. You might think he's sleeping, but he's not. Thank you, Ellen, so much for that. So I just want to remind you people, to give your life to Jesus Christ, this is the time, this is the time, this is the time. Don't forget about the tracks. Please don't forget about the tracks. I just got mine in, a whole bunch of them to get in here. I give them out all the time. Gospel of the Kingdom of God from a uh, from uh, www.angeltv.org. Um, and he's preaching, uh, Sundar Savalas. He's preaching in uh, India this week. And I got to go and listen to his videos because I haven't listened to his video this week yet. But it's a live, live telecast. I have to look it up on W. You can look it up there, too, at um, www.angeltv.org. What's behind the New World Order? Get your copy or download your copy free at www.theperfectstormiscoming.org. Make sure you read that material, people. We're here heading. This New World Order is right before us. One World Order, One World Religion. While economic collapse and moral decay is America headed for Armageddon. The perfect storm is coming right before us, right before us. And I'm going to go to Romans because I was given that a few minutes ago from the Lord. It's Romans. 
Just like I said, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. This is the time to do it now, not to wait. Do it now, not to wait, not to wait. Uh, Romans, I'm starting from uh, Romans 10, 5, and I'm going to go up to Romans 10, 11. Uh, Romans 10, 12, probably. Romans 10, 5. For Moses described the righteous, which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. But there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen and amen. So we need to call upon the name of the Lord. We need to get our DNA changed. We need to get away from the Adam's corrupt seed and get his a powerful anointed seed through Jesus Christ our Lord. He's the only one can give it to us. I'm so glad that Islam in Iraq is finding that out, waking up. Some people are waking up, beginning to see that Allah can't do nothing for you. Muhammad can't do nothing for you. Wood, rock, and stone can't do nothing for you. Hindu can't do nothing for you. Buddha can't do nothing for you. Only the only God Almighty, all God Almighty, he's all God by himself. He don't need nobody else. He will save you if you call on him. Give your sins to him. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. Come into my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. That is the prayer you need to be praying, people, now. This is the time. This is the time. Time is running out. Time is definitely running out. So go to Romans and read and study. It's like my friend Humminbird just said. Are people really seeking the word for themselves? We need to be seeking the word for ourselves, not dependent on your pastor, not dependent on somebody say so, not dependent on my say so. Go and read and study. Call on the Lord Almighty and he will show you. He say he will give you knowledge and wisdom. He will give it to you. There he is no respecter of persons. He will give it to you. You just have to go and seek his face, people. Now is the time. I will post these articles below. Uh, we just I just know that today is really amazing. Everybody is talking about nature. Everybody is talking about all these things coming on the earth. Uh, Friday the 13th, I don't know what can happen. As they say, NASA are not even saying what can happen. They saying it can happen. It can hit the earth, this uh, um, un unidentified object, whatever it is, this unknown object supposed to hit the earth. So I know something's going to hit the earth, like an asteroid or something is going to hit the earth, as the Bible says, because uh, it would cause the sea, a great tsunami, you know, is going to hit and cause the waters to turn bitter. So you need to be studying, people, and really know that time is very, very short. Time is so very, very short. And uh, I just wanted you to know that uh, I really have just been trying to share things with you a lot of people say they don't know me that well. I know you don't know me that well, but that's why I have the videos. I'm making videos because I have a background. I used to be a seven-day Adventist. I used to be a Baptist. I used to be a Methodist. I was into a non-denominational. I was a Mormon one time. And, you know, God had me going all over the place. But now as I read the study, the Torah, the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation, and I keep the Sabbaths and the feasts, so I call myself a messianic Israelite. I don't know. I'm just a child of God. I'm just a watchman. I'm just one that he have called at 29 years old. He told me with his own voice to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And I've been doing street ministry for years. I did it in Adventist church. I did street ministry. 
I did uh, a lot of ministries on my own. I mean, out in the community as God called me, as I told you some of my testimonies, if you want to see a lot of my testimonies, you can go to www.ourdailydrink.wordpress.com um, www and you will see my husband and my blog there. And you can read my poetry. You can read my book, He Did What, on testimonies in my life. God is a living God. He's here to save you. He's here to help you. But you have to want the help. You have to want the help. So you need to go to him and uh, give your life to him. And uh, I just want to thank my friend uh, so much, uh, um, Elmira and Charles Whelan, uh, for sending me the tapes yesterday, the DVDs. I'm so happy to get them. Um, this is when Charles was in uh, Spokane, Spokane, Washington. September 20th this year and he also sent me the ones where he was in Portland Oregon so I'm gonna I listened to part one yesterday and I'm gonna listen to the part two today a crisis approaching and you know you can get any of Charles material right on his website the one I just told you about where you can get who all the angel books and uh, the perfect storm is coming and what's behind a new world order you can get them at his website at www.theperfectstormiscoming.org and he have uh, DVDs on there as well. You can just write him uh, on at the con uh, contact num uh, contact uh, information there and request some of the DVDs he have on End Times and he have a lot of great stuff on there. And he also has some things you can go look at free because he posts them on his website. So try to do that and don't forget to support uh, Bob Barbara um, he's giving Bibles out free all over the world. Uh, it's a magnificent ministry. He also have a gift of dreams and visions that he will interpret your dream and vision. If you send them in his Facebook page, you have to go below my website and you, I mean, go below my channel and you will see his link posted there of uh, the ministry that he's doing and I support that ministry as he giving books out and Bibles all over uh, all over the world and I also I'm so happy and thrilled to know that uh, books are going all over the world um, what's behind a new world order is getting out and it's going all over the world in Africa I've sent a bunch there not too long ago a gentleman in Boston taking them to Africa we have other people having books taken a lady a friend of mine is in Tennessee she's gonna be ordering more books I just, I'm just excited how God been just appointing me to certain people to give the books out. Every week he appoint me to somebody special to give the books out. And so we need to really be about our father's business. Go to him and let him tell you your gifts. But first you got to become filled with his spirit through his DNA. So people don't wait. This is not time to wait. Give your life to Jesus Christ. That is my biggest sound and trumpet sound is to give your life to Jesus Christ while the time is here because soon and very soon this old world is gonna break up into thousands of parts and disappear and we need to know that we are saved if something happened to us I can go out of the house tonight and I may not come back alive you never know all these shootings going around in the country all over the world shootings chaos every kind of thing you can imagine is happening in Israel all over Israel, people are getting shot, killed, destroyed. Uh, Syria is attacking, and you know, and people are attacking Syria, and it's just one thing after another. So we need to really be paying attention to the news. If you go to the certain news channels, you know, like I said, the news don't give you all the news. So you need to be really watching and 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 praying and looking, and not hiding your head under a, a rock. And, and under a bushel. We need to be about our Father's business. We are a light on a hill, people, a light on a hill. So we need to be working for God. He need workmen. He need workmen now. We need to be working for the Father, working for him as much as possible, sounding the trumpet, telling friends, telling neighbors, telling your children. Halloween is just a no-no. I'm sorry. That is nothing to tell your children about. It's just a waste of time. Tell them about Jesus Christ. Tell them about the Savior. Let them know he's the only one can save. Superman, all these things, all this ridiculous stuff that the media has, cartoons, all these things are disrupting, corrupting our children's minds. We need to get away from this stuff. We need to give our life, uh, put a, a shield on our house uh, where the angels could be in our home 
and, and getting rid of these demonic angels, these seducing angels. That's why I say it's time to come out of her, your pe my people. Come out of her, as she says in Revelation 17, 18. Come out, because, you know, we are being seduced every day when we are around these people who do, do not keep his commandments, do not keep his Sabbaths, do not follow, uh, recognize his feasts. You know, we need to be just really awakened now. This is the time to be awakened. Father, I come to you today again. I ask you to go into the people homes watching this video, Father. I send your Holy Spirit there, Father. I ask that you just be with them, Father. Be with them in a mighty way. You have given us authority to cast out demons and to get rid of Satan and his demonic angels all around our pathway. Get behind me, Satan. Just happen to know that he is nobody, but you are everybody. You are everybody. You are, you are somebody in Yeshua because he has made us special. And Father, we just thank you for your Holy Spirit power. We ask that you just let your Holy Spirit power be with the people watching today, Father. Help them to know that you are the mighty God of all gods. You are the king of all kings. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So we just ask that you come and be with them today, Father. I ask that you just supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Father. Whether it be physical, mentally, physically, spiritually, I mean. Make us an all fishers of men for your glory, Father. We need to work for you now while it is day. So I ask these blessings of you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Father. You alone, Father, your Holy Spirit working inside of us, Father, to work for you, for, our, for your purpose and not for our purpose, for your glory, not for our glory. And we thank you, and I ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. People, you have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on the next video. Have a blessed fall. It's a great fall year. Just be blessed. Amen and amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>